Back in March, OpenAI announced the brand new Responses API. Now, it took me a little second to understand what is different about this versus the previous Chat Completions API, as well as the other Assistance API, which Responses sort of aims to combine. Now, before we explain what's different, Chat Completions isn't going away. That API is planning to stay with no plans of deprecation, but the Assistance API is being deprecated in 2026. Now, the best way to look at it is with the Chat Completion API, you could ask it prompts, but it wasn't stateful, which meant that anytime you asked it follow-up questions, it had no previous context of what was discussed. Now, this can be a little bit frustrating when you're trying to build more complex examples or trying to build more complex programs where you need it to have the context rather than having to store it yourself. Another thing that then means it costs more tokens every time you make a request as you're storing that history and then having to send a load of that history back to give it context. So for example, here is a prompt where I'm gonna ask it what is data orchestration to the chat completion API. And as you can see here, it's going to run, it's gonna get my response, no problems, no, no trouble there at all. So we can see it got the response, it talked about data orchestration. Now, if I was to run this again, but instead of asking what is data orchestration, instead of going, what was the last prompt? It's not gonna know because it doesn't store that context. As you can see here, I'm sorry, but I cannot view or recall previous interactional prompts. So a little bit frustrating and limiting. Now the assistance API again was sort of to try and help you build these chat bots but they're looking to sort of incorporate the two together to build something even more powerful. Now, in this example, we're gonna use the Responses API, which in the latest Kestra release now has a task so you can get hands-on with it inside of Kestra. Now, the key thing that makes this API game-changing over the last one is the new property of previous response ID. So now every time you make a request to this API, you will get returned a response ID, which you can then use to reference your previous conversation. So here, I'm going to ask you to explain what is Kestra in three sentences, and I haven't got a response ID, so I'm gonna leave it blank. Now, what I'm gonna get back, hopefully a useful answer, you never know of AI. So here I get this wonderful description of what Kestra is, and here it gives me that response ID. So if I was to copy that now and execute this again, but with the response ID and go, what was the last prompt? It's going to know what it is thanks to that response ID. And as you can see here, it knows the last prompt that I gave it was explain what is Kestra in three sentences. So this opens up the possibility for building much more complex workflows, much more complex examples, where now you can rely on the API to know what's going on, rather than having to deal with all that state on your side. As you can see here, the token usage wasn't super high, but if we had to pass it all the context, we would be using way more tokens and as a result, bringing up the cost. So this is super useful in building those examples. There's other things in here too, such as reasoning here. You can specify the reasoning configuration. So there's lots of opportunities here, but I would recommend uh, having a little look at the API itself. There's loads of cool things you can do with it. And it's gonna be interesting to see what people build with it. So do let me know in the comments below what you're planning to build with the responses API. Does this unlock something that the chat completion API didn't? Or is this just a rebrand of the chat completion API in your eyes? Let me know what you think in the comments below.